Look over here at the cyclic compound. There's a ketone functionality and an alkene. I am looking at it in the presence of a very strong base. I'm focusing here on particular alpha hydrogens, which are right here, relatively acidic. This base can pluck a proton away. The electrons of this bond can go back over here on this carbon. And look what your next step would look like. And I'm drawing it for you right over here. You have the original hydrogen here, but then you have here a generation of a carbon ion. And this has come off as a BH, a protonated base. Now look over here, we'll have some shuffling of electrons. This can come over here to generate a double bond. The double of your carbonyl can break off and two electrons of this bond can end up on the oxygen and see what is occurring. This is what I will have now, a anion on the presence of oxygen. Here was on carbon, now it's on oxygen. Everything else will be drawn for you to represent a good representation as you see right over here. And now I'm looking here at this BH again, which is a protonated base. This oxygen, what it can do is use two of its electrons to pluck that hydrogen. The two electrons of this bond can go back to your base to regenerate it. Everything here is in the base environment. And look, we draw up a hydroxyl functionality. And look at the number of electrons which are present now on oxygen. You have four here, you had four here, here you had six. But everything else stays as is. We've gone from a keto group to an enol. What we see here is a keto going to enol, and obviously everything here, even though the direction of arrows is one way, is reversible. You can really represent everything here by bidirection, bidirectional arrows, and it can go back in the same way. We are going here from a keto to enol in this particular case, but it can easily go back in that reverse direction. You're seeing over here keto enol tautomerism, and you know what this is. It is a form of a mixture or interconversion from one isomer to another. Totomerism is what it's called.